love to show you this because um, it's still going to take a little work to develop. Yes, good boy, maybe not. Um, he's picking this up really well. So um, this is the command you're going to use to get him to paw at Ashton when you want him to interrupt certain behaviors. So this is kind of the first step in teaching it. Well, second step, I guess. Um, all I'm doing is I'm making a fist and I originally had the treat in my fist. What I would do is I would put it down at his paw level. Yes, good boy. And every time he picked up a paw, I would say yes and release the treats. I'm slowly trying to bring my hand onto my thigh so that he'll recognize to actually hit a part of your body. Um, paw. Yes, good boy. <laughs> he likes to sit and think and process, so it, it takes some time for things to, to um, I guess, roll around in his little brain. So I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to actually send him off running so it's more fun for him. But I'm just making a fist kind of on my leg. Zeus, pop. Hey, are you checking out? Yes, good boy. Um, at this stage, if he makes any effort at all picking up that paw, I'm going to say yes, even if he misses my leg or misses the hand, um, just because he's still kind of learning the, the verbal command for it. Um, we're still giving him a physical command to kind of help him out, which is this is closed fist, but uh, he'll get it on the verbal pretty quickly. He likes this one. But I wanted to show you because it's going to take a little practice uh, at home with Ashton. Um, this is also how you teach shake, coincidentally. So we're basically taking a trick and turning it into an indication. Someone's apparently tired. But I wanted to show you that. 